In this tutorial, we will use tools from the Experiment Summary to optimize spot matching. Every protein spot identified on a master gel is automatically matched across all the gels in the experiment. But what if you find that a protein spot of interest has not been matched to a master gel? You can optimize the spot matching to include such a spot. To begin, select Edit, Experiment Summary. The Experiment Summary contains tools for reviewing and optimizing spot detection and matching results within a replicate group and between the groups. The Experiment Summary window is an interactive chart that shows the number of matched protein spots on the gels within the replicate groups and within the entire experiment based on the user settings. This window also contains buttons that allow you to change some experiment settings, such as matching and normalization parameters, or view the scatter plot and print the matching report. Notice that one gel image is marked with an asterisk. The marked gel image was used to create the master gel image. To create the master gel, PDQuest software made a virtual copy of the marked gel and added detected spots from all other gels in the experiment. Therefore, all the identified spots on this gel are included in the master gel. The spots column shows how many spots were detected in each gel. The matched column shows how many matching spots were found on each gel. This match rate allows you to review how well the spot detection and matching parameters were selected. For example, if one gel image is not matching at the same rate as the others, you might need to take a close look at the spot detection, normalization, and matching parameters for that gel to assess if the parameters need to be changed. The Match Rate 1 column shows the percentage of matching spots relative to the total number of spots on the gel image. The gel marked with an asterisk was used for a foundation of the master gel, and 100% of all the spots are matched. The Match Rate 2 shows the percentage of matching spots relative to the spots included in the master gel. Since spots are added to the master gel from all gels in the experiment, this rate shows how well the spots on each individual gel match the total number of identified spots in the entire experiment. Notice that the gel with the asterisk, which contributed 100% of its spots to the master gel, has a match rate 2 value lower than 100%. This gel image does not contain all the spots from all the gels in the experiment. This is because each individual gel contributes only a portion of the spots contained on the master gel. The correlation coefficient tells us how close an individual gel image matches within the replicate group. If the replicate gels are run with the same sample and the electrophoresis conditions are consistent, then the correlation coefficient should be above 70%. For example, if you have a correlation coefficient less than 70% within a replicate group, you've cropped all images to the same size, and you have optimized spot detection and normalization, then you might consider rerunning your gels to optimize the electrophoresis conditions and improve the accuracy of your experiment. Click once on the first gel of the 42 degree replicate group to review its spot matching results you will see that the correlation coefficient changes to 1 for this gel, and the values for the other gels in this replicate group show how closely they match that gel image. If you want to change your criteria for matching the spots, you can rematch all your gels from here. Click Rematch to open the Automated Matching window. The primary match is based on vector space analysis. For example, you can see that there is a spot on two gels that should be matched. This is the same protein, but the software did not match this spot from one gel to another. How long is the vector from one spot location to another, and in which direction should it point to match these two spots? The liberal setting will allow for a longer vector and a larger angle to swing. The extended matching will apply statistics to analyze the area around the spots on all the gels and match the spots based on the matching patterns. Click the Match All button to apply the changes. We will save the new matching settings to trace the changes that were introduced in the matching criteria. Once you change the matching settings, 
notice that the newly matched spots are marked with a different color on the gel pictures. Notice, in the table, the match rates and correlation coefficient will be changed to reflect the rematching. Click the Scatter Plot tab to view a graphical representation of the data. This plot is a visual comparison between the gels and the replicate groups. To compare replicate groups, click the Display Options button and select the 45-degree line. Click Done to accept this option. In the new plot, the 45-degree line represents the spots that are present in both replicate groups. The spots that are above the black line are present only on the 42-degree gels, and those that are below the black line are present only on the 30-degree gels. The blue and red lines in the plot set the border for the two-fold differences between the protein spot quantities on the gels. The green line shows a linear regression function that represents correlation between the replicate groups. The correlation shows how similar these two replicate groups are to each other. If one group of gels is different from the other, reflecting the sample's differences, then the regression line should be different from the 45-degree line. We can also use the scatter plot to observe the correlation between the gels within one replicate group. To record the matching data, click Report to print or export the experiment summary chart.